Hey, I'm Luke. This is Leah. We are the uh, leaders of the church in Handsworth called Sheffield Christian Life Centre. And if you've been watching the news, um, or well, even if you haven't been, I'm sure you would have heard that the government have brought in some restrictions and some guidance that are going to help and support people, try and limit this, the spread of the virus and try and save lives, ultimately. Mm. Um, but those restrictions do affect the church um, because the, what they're asking is that people don't meet um, in large groups and even small groups really but just to really kind of only go out if you have to you know to work or whatever um, and so we just want to take a moment just to explain to you about how it's going to affect the church and what we uh, as a leadership have put together right. to to support support each other and keep you know cut the contact there between us before that before we explain that though i'm just going to quickly just mention i read in the bible in psalm 41 today my daily reading something that really encouraged me mm. um it says in verse 1 of, of chapter 47 uh, sorry chapter 41 blessed is he who has regard for the weak i think this moment in time there's so many people who feel weak who feel isolated who feel alone who feel discouraged mm. so the lord delivers him in times of trouble the lord will protect him and preserve his life he will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. He goes on to say in verse 7 then, talking about David who wrote the psalm, he says that they imagine the worst of me, David, uh, saying the vile disease has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Um, but then in verse 10 it says, but you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up. And it says also in verse uh, 12, it says, in my integrity you uphold me. And you set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting yeah. to everlasting. Amen. Well, that's well, that whole thing that you spoke to me about this morning was, was it acts our responsibility, our job to look after those who are weak. We can do that by not attending services. That's what we're doing. But in many other ways as well, we can do that. But it's our job, our responsibility to protect the weak. Also that, you know, if we're facing sickness or those around us are facing sickness, that God says he will lift you up and uphold you and look after you. Right. Um, if you follow his ways and then lastly he says about how he set us in his presence and for those who may be feeling isolated at this, at this moment in time that, that God is everywhere he's all around that even if we're not connecting together as a church that God is we're still all in God's presence together mm. uh, working together being being held together by his love right. so I want to encourage you in that but hey what we yeah, doing? so what does it look like how are we going to meet together what does church look like for this next season so yeah we've met together we've got a plan don't need to be afraid we've got a plan in place and so we have um, decided that it's in the best of interest to keep everyone safe by uh, postponing our activities throughout the week so tiny tots which is our play groups verve juniors and verve which is our youth groups they'll be postponed yeah. for now charity shop charity shop yes our food bank there will be remaining open obviously that is a, a much needed um service that we need to keep providing for so food bank will still remain open as the best as we can to yeah. provide that um sunday services however we are going to cease uh, meeting together in that in the center and so what do we do <laughs> so we're going to um you can join online on Facebook and YouTube, 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. One of us will have prepared a message for you uh, to inspire you and to encourage you during this season. So every week until the restrictions are lifted, 11 o'clock every Sunday morning, you can tune in online. So this week is Mother's Day extra special so we have a group of ladies already prepped and planned um, but they're going to share with us their experiences of raising family of um, hard stuff that they've been through and how God has helped them and just to encourage us to inspire us as women but not just women being on Mother's Day it's it will inspire all of us so we're looking forward to that 11 a.m and hey you can turn up in your PJs mm. church in PJs that's the new thing eh <laughs> so and also we're postponing life groups on Tuesday so and, and we want Monday Oh, Mondays, yeah, Mondays and Tuesdays we do live groups, but they will be postponed until restrictions have been lifted. But we do feel like prayer is needed, especially during this next season. So we're going to meet together at 7.30, not together, together in the centre, but we're going to join online through Facebook and YouTube and other ways, the creative ways that we've, we're just planning. So more details to follow with that. Also, 
more things to look forward to. Um, we're going to, one of us are going to every single day from next week, going to share devotional, just a word of encouragement in the mornings at 10 a.m. and in the evenings at 7 p.m. So that's something to look forward to, to inspire us and encourage us during this next season. Yeah, we're just looking for as many different ways as possible to connect with each other. Yeah. Some of those posts in the week are going to be live, yeah. so you can kind of tune into those as, the, as they're happening and you can comment and, and say amen and all the stuff <laughs> you would normally do when you listen to, to Leah preach or someone you know yes amen God and all that stuff um, so yeah we want to encourage you to do that and you know this is a difficult time for everybody right but it's also an opportunity for you to be salt and light right. to the world hey yep. it's when darkness is the most actually the light stands out the most <laughs> and i want to encourage you just in this time to to, to think of ways to be salt and light yeah. go and love on your neighbors mm. go and show them god's love and, and and really if you like share your faith with them in, in a very practical way maybe they need help maybe they're in isolation and there's something you could do for them obviously be safe mm. don't put your health at yeah, risk yeah. but but you know if there's some way which you can help people just show that love to people right and i think that'd be really great to, I, I'm, I'm encouraged i don't think that god's on the back foot here kind of thinking to himself oh no corona virus is out and i can't know about it no god knows about this right. he knew about it before it ever happened and so i'm excited to see what god does mm. it's not a setback god's setting things up for the church to do something right. with, with him through the church right. to do something um, amazing and brilliant so mm. i'm looking forward to what god has for the future and uh, we'll see you soon